Hello, dudes. So we've been waiting for years for a chance to play this game. No Man's Garden. Yay! Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here. Welcome to Plantera. Yeah, Plantera! Not No Man's Sky today! <sighs> today is gonna be Let's Play Plantera and talk about that. First, a little bit about Plantera. This is a click game where basically it's kind of like that cookie clicker where it's all about just clicking and you just want to click clickety clack clack clickety clack clack as much as you can. I don't, it, I guess you get coins? I actually don't know much about the game and then it allows you to buy stuff. Carrots! We're buying a plot of carrots. Perfect. Now do I click the carrots and make more carrots because that's what I'm excited to do. Making my damn carrots. Oh look at that, I can look around. Can I walk around? Ugh. Trying to walk. I don't know what you are, but I'm clicking you hard. Can I click my carrots? Can't click my carrots. <gasps> I can click a carrot. Oh sweet, I finally unlocked the tr bear trap parts of uh, Plantera. Now that's something that I think is kind of interesting about Plantera, is it comes in with a really like upfront, s gentle, s you know, kind of friendly atmosphere, and then very quickly turns into pretty dark and brutal. In fact, I'm surprised that they got it past the ESRB ratings. I mean, the whole game type changes too. Suddenly it's multiplayer, there's like generators and shit, which I really don't get why they have that. I mean, it just really doesn't fit with the overall theme, but uh, I can understand that they wanted to mix it up a little bit because it's definitely something where the game had some improvements that were needed. Now one thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure you hit the foxes multiple times. If you only hit them once, they end up uh, going for a little bit of a run and it's difficult to catch them. Uh, but it's okay, just after two hits or so, you'll find that you'll have most of them under your control. But uh, it can be kind of dark and hard to see, so that's another thing important to keep in mind that you don't always want to be, uh, you know, keeping the color so low. It's, it's problematic and hard to find those foxes. Now, remember that thing about hitting the fox, right? You want to make sure that you do it a couple times. Not just a single click, but a few. Uh, foxes will sometimes find themselves running away and using various forms of devices to try to stop you from catching up to them. Don't worry about that, just run around. Uh, they know you're coming and they are suffering from a very big fear response. So most of them will just keep running regardless of what the smart thing is to do. Like taking a sharp corner, that kind of thing. And you can often see where they've run to based off of little scratch marks they leave behind for you. So keep that in mind as well. It's uh, They're surprisingly more noticeable than you would think. Man, this fox is being such a little run buddy. Hey run buddy. Hey run buddy. Run, buddy. Oh, uh, run, buddy. Why you run, buddy? Hey. Run, buddy. Hi, run, buddy. Hi, run, buddy. Hi, run, buddy. <laughs> oh, now, what's really important that you want to make sure is you get lots and lots of gold if you set the trees up correctly. So you want to make sure they're in the right... Oh, you see, as you can see, I made a little mistake. My tree wasn't correctly set up in this Plantera game. So keep that in mind. Trees must be set up in the right order, otherwise you don't get as much gold. Now, we can get to watch one of the more interesting tree moments. As you can see, you're able to set up an individual, make sure that they collect plenty of stuff from it. And uh, when I talk about the individual, this is the fruit. Here's the individual right here, just hanging out. Now, a lot of times, the, uh, the fruit will try to save its friendly fruits, so you want to make sure that you give them a little space so that they can get close enough to feel like that's the right choice. Now this one's probably going to get off. Um, apparently I just, yep, as you can see this one did just get off. That's okay. They're going to leave little trails around for all of us, and you can even see their heads sometimes as they're moving. It's, uh, it's a fun little game that we play with the fruit. If you listen closely, you can hear fruit get in and out of pain. And it's uh, it's in interesting that they chose to provide male voices for fruit. I don't know if that's sexism necessarily, but I feel like it's important that you have a variety of gendered fruit when you're playing a game like this. It's just otherwise it seems so archaic, you know? You definitely want to spread the fruit genders around. I think that's an important thing. You know, it's modern world, spread the fruit gender. Uh, now we get to make another tree. I can't wait. I love trees. Oh, you and me making trees. Making trees is just so much fun. Oh, you knocked that thing down. 
Will I make you a tree? Making a tree, making a tree. That's what you are gonna be to me. <gasps> oh no! Sounds like he's dying. That's unfortunate, but good for us because that means we've collected our first thing of fruit. Now there are times when you want to be quiet, listening. Isn't it pretty? What a wonderful night to just grow, 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 grow. So many plants and friends and, you know, feeding towns with the fruit that we harvest here today. <gasps> Look, I found some more fruit. Aw, oh, the fruit's getting away, but that's okay. Don't worry too much. Sometimes fruit pushes and gets away, but that's fine, you know? It's all about taking your time. Fruit is very, very witty, and uh, you want to just meet up to that fruit as well. Now, towards the end of any time you're playing any form of plantar, excuse me, uh, you want to make sure that you're listening closely because sometimes they try to leave, and you don't want your fruit to leave. You need to sell that shit. So make sure that if your fruit begins to leave, that you patrol back and forth between the variety of locations to try to encourage them to stop from leaving. Typically, this can happen from a bear hug, maybe a piggyback ride. There are really many, many options to do it. And there you have dudes, uh, one of the ways that you can help tend your garden. You know, one technique that is often left out of a lot of Plantera playthroughs is people don't really talk very much about how you can actually get more defenses with turrets. You don't necessarily need to set things up where you're using a variety of yourself slashing at the foxes and that kind of thing. You can set up these turrets yourself and protect so many people this way. It's actually surprising people don't really do it. And if you're truly very elite, then you want to build your turrets up high on some place that a lot of people just can't get to. You know, you definitely want to just do something that really minimizes any chance that any of the foxes are really going to get up higher while you're trying to do any of this at all. Now, of course, I'm partial to cutting down my own plants via, you know, blades and stuff. But sometimes you just need to go with something like the uh, radiation rifle and something like a grenade. They really help minimizing any animal trying to just take any of your fruit. Now one thing else to keep in mind is as your carry weight starts getting, you know, like bigger and bigger, uh, you will feel like you won't need a lot of extra help, but rat stag meat is actually really useful for that extra carry weight, especially if it, they come up with a dead eye revolutionary or whatever revolver pistol. Very, very fun and I highly recommend you take advantage of it. Also in the later levels, Nick Valentine becomes unlockable. More rat stags! Now one of the more interesting parts about Plantera is when you get to a point where you run out- oh, man, uh, sorry ma'am, it's just taking me a time. How are you doing? Um, uh, uh, Apple? Oh shoot, I, I greet her, greet her. Hi, I'm, I'm doing great. Um, do you have a club card? How is the store? Um, do you need a receipt? I don't know, sorry. Uh, do you have any coupons? No, sorry, okay. Um, uh, let's see, looking up the prices. Uh, the thing is, if you run out of Plantera, sometimes you could just pick up a secondary job. Oh man, oh, okay. Uh, Apple, um, uh, uh, shift, uh, it's a green apple, uh, you're, uh, 4017, 4, 4, oh, oh god, it's not letting me, beep, so, anyway, that's, uh, that's generally how one plays Plantera, as you can see, people are able to collect stuff while you're away, and it helps you level up a bit, which is really useful, because then we can just buy some more help, and that will just allow us to get up more and more, I mean, easier, higher levels, clicking at stuff going away, and it really works out kind of well. So I would say that the moral of this story would be something along the lines of, you know, No Man's Sky you should probably wait for before you end up buying it. Um, Plantera is an interesting economic simulator, but really takes in a lot of different game types and styles. Hey, so uh, interruption moment. Uh, yeah, different shirt, little different day that I did this. I, uh, I wanted to basically explain the 10 minute video that came out. Um, I was doing No Man's Sky and it didn't work. Uh, the game didn't work. I tried to fix it, tried to make it work, and when I finally got it to do something, it couldn't record. Uh, I had issues like crashing, frame rate issues, stuttering, pretty much all the shit stuff. And even when it finally got to work a little bit, uh, the recording itself desynced all the time. It sucks. And so I needed, you know, I spent all these hours trying to get to work, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to film something. And then I started filming what you guys saw, and for whatever reason, I lost, a, I accidentally missed the uh, the camera that I was supposed to be filming on, so there was just a bunch of my face like this, you know, rather than switching back and forth like I normally do. <laughs> anyway, 
that just sucked. And so that was the video that came out. And um, I wanted to explain that because, you know, sometimes these things happen and it's time just runs out. And that's okay. We're human. Mistakes are made. I want to take this opportunity, too, to kind of talk about some of the ridiculousness of what it is in this situation, specifically related to, like, No Man's Sky and the like. Because, and let me bring back to that, you know, me trying to get it to work. Now, this game was super hyped, and, you know, it was released, and the thing is, is depending on how the gameplay that I did experience, it's okay. I'd personally put it at a $30 game at most, but, you know, it's up to them to decide. It came out a broken product, and that sucks, and... The thing is, is that that is happening more and more in the gaming environment, and I have been told to, like, sit back and be careful about those things, and I totally say that to you. I walked into this because, as a, you know, content creator, I wanted to get in when it was good kind of thing. Unfortunately, just, it boned me. Um, the thing that really got me with this, though, is that I put four hours into this, one hour of, like, trying to, you know, kind of gameplay, and three hours of trying to make it work. And I asked for a refund from Steam, where I bought this game. And Steam denied my refund because it said you played more than two hours. And there's this moment of like, no, I tried to get the stupid game to work for three hours. And then I kind of got it to work for an hour and went, no, this isn't for me. And it's kind of this moment of like, it's 60 bucks of kind of a broken product that I can't return. And it really leaves a bad taste in my mouth from No Man's Sky, Hello Games, to Valve and Steam. Like... I trusted Steam and Valve and that kind of thing. And I understand that, you know, it's like that they need a two-hour cutoff. And I understand with No Man's Sky that computers are hard to get right because they all have different drivers and styles. And, you know, sometimes people just have problems with these games. And there's a certain level of that I understand. I'm a PC player. We're different. Cool. Gotcha. This is just a broken product. And then this is just a refund policy that actually screws people who are trying to fix broken products. And so it's something where it's like, the, the policy itself expects that you have a game that works, and you try it, and you don't like it, and you stop. The game didn't work. And it's just leaves such an annoyance. So anyway, I, I wanted to explain that. The, previ the video you watched was basically my frustration video of like, ah, of trying to just get that out of my system. And it just happened that way. So, thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video. It's the ending. See ya. So anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, when the ground rises, reach your feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.